Welcome to another bite-sized burlesque lesson. You are probably wondering, Mina, what is with the getup? I just couldn't wear my normal teaching uniform of babe t-shirt and leggings for this lesson. And you'll see in a moment, once I started getting dressed, I realized I just had to go all out for it. So this is my outfit as the diva in the Rathskeller. And the reason I'm wearing this is because today's lesson is on removing a corset. This is my favorite corset. It is the one I wear as the diva uh, in the Rathskeller. It was made by the other woman, a uh, corseteer that is sadly no longer in business um, because I just love this. So I know it's all black, um, but I have um, temporarily put in a white corset lacing so you can see how it laces. So the first thing when you are removing a corset is you have to loosen it. And um, loosening the laces can be a little tricky um, and take a little time on stage. So be sure you know uh, what you're doing to keep the audience's interest while you're loosening your laces. And also allow for some mushiness in your choreography. Um, so just in case something goes wrong, you have time. All right, so here is my laced up corset. Like I said, normally it would have a black lace, be less obvious than this sort of uh, dorky looking white, but I wanted you to be able to see it against the black corset, particularly the way it's laced. It laces mostly like a sneaker, except at the middle, You'll see it better once I untie it. There are these little bunny ears, and that's what you use to tighten up your corset. You can also see that there is a gap. The sides of my corset don't actually meet, and that's perfectly normal and exactly what you want. If the sides of your corset meet up in the back, your corset is too big for you. You want to have like a three, four, maybe even five inch gap in the back, it's called spring. Um, so I have just tied my corset in a simple bow, not a, a knot, for ease of untying. So just pull the corset lacing to untie the knot. Really important to make sure you grab the ends of the bow rather than the loop and they look exactly the same, so I always make sure my ends are a little longer than my loop. And then loosen the knot, and so you can see what I call the little bunny ears, which is I have laced the corset like a shoe until I hit my waist, and then I just skip an eyelet on each side so that you have these loops where you can tighten it up. So now that the corset is untied, I can loosen it. And I'm just gonna give wiggling optional, the, the wiggle is optional. So now it's really nice and loose. I'm going to take my corset busk, give you a nice close up view. So the busk are the little um, studs and loops. And then I'm just going to open it by pushing the eye loop away from the stud. Now, really, really important, when you are unfastening your corset, I want you to start from the top and work down to the bottom or start at the bottom and work up to the top. 
absolutely under no circumstances should you get halfway and then try again from the bottom. It's, it's a recipe for disaster because what happens is, um, so there's all this pressure on the middle um, loop, the, the middle part of the busk, and if that is still fastened and it's got all the pressure on it, it can actually bend your busk and ruin your corset. So don't do that. Always top to bottom, bottom to top, but never start in the middle. If you are practicing on doing your corset and you find that when you get to the center of the busk, you are having problems unhooking it because there's too much pressure on it, you haven't loosened the back enough. So really important, loosen the back, busk, top to bottom, or bottom to top. And then it's really easy just to open it up. This has this lovely little red satin lining. I can give my audience a show. And you're done. I had a really important piece of wisdom about wearing a corset to impart, um, but I can't remember it at the moment. That's the joys of doing this live. Oh, right. <laughs> it was, if you find that you are constantly having problems unhooking the busk of your corset, there is absolutely no shame in switching to a zippered corset. Um, you can't lace a zippered corset nearly as tight as you can one with a busk, but it still looks quite good. And you know confidently that you'll be able to get it off in time during your routine. You can even convert a corset with a busk to one with a zipper. I have uh, an entire 90 minute workshop on corsets from history to how to make them, how to buy them, how to wear them, how to remove them as you just saw, plus resources. If you would be interested in taking that, uh, drop me a line and uh, maybe I'll offer it. I am offering uh, workshops through the Boston Academy of Burlesque Education uh, twice a week now. Uh, you can see the whole schedule at studyburlesque.com slash workshops. So if you're interested in a corset workshop, drop me a line and maybe I'll offer it in June. Until then, I am Miss Mina Murray from the Boston Academy of Burlesque Education, and this has been your bite-sized burlesque lesson in how to remove a corset. See you next Wednesday.